Binder, as the name suggests, is there to bind information of different sorts together. So the way we have implemented this particular function is to arrange information in clips which contain staples, which in turn contain clippings. So in this particular case, uh, I have a clip of purchases, appliances and furniture. And we've got this Wi-Fi IP camera that I just bought recently. And I wanted to show you that I've got the photo of the receipt in case I need it to return or for warranty. Oops, let me just dismiss this. And um, there is the user manual as well. We have a built-in PDF reader which I have access to immediately. So whenever I need anything from one of my um, appliances or like this here, the lounge room sofa, I can immediately look up warranty conditions and uh, decide whether it's still um, you know, uh, under repairs or not. And this is the initial invoice. Pro as you can see, the picture was taken with a little light, but it was taken at a high resolution. And when we click on it, we can come up to... We can uh, just discern all the information there. Uh, it's a way of keeping information together, information that might be needed in a few years time uh, and will be difficult to find otherwise. Now, the binder module is designed actually to contain all sorts of different information. For example, I use it as a, a record of my bill payments. Uh, when I receive a new bill, which I will demonstrate to you in a second, I set up so that um, my binder accesses a dedicated email box where my utility companies send emails to. And I can check that by just clicking this button here. As you can see right away in my email inbox, there is an invoice from Luma Energy. Now this isn't a coincidence, I set it up for demonstration purposes, just to show you how it works. So this is the actual email they sent on the 9th of December, $160 due. And this is the PDF version of the same thing. Uh, all comes from their email. So now what I do with these sort of things is first thing as I received it, I will change uh, that staple to be in the bills to be paid clip. I won't do that now. I'll just show you. So bills to be paid. Uh, we've got the Luma electricity. This is the previous one. There are two invoices to be paid still. This one actually can move because it has been paid, I know that. So I can move this to Lumo paid. And this is Lumo electric bill. So I save that and it disappears out of the to be paid tab. So we've only got this one which is due on the 13th of December. And this is a web hosting invoice. So, um, but let's say if just for this example uh, that I've just received this new electric bill. What I would normally do with this is move it to the to be paid. I would set that in my budget application. There we go. And in here I will say an expense, Lumo electricity bill. Hundred and sixty thirty, and it's due on the thirteenth, I believe. So I want a standard reminder, and I'll save that. Now I can have a look in my thirteenth Lumo Electric bill, thirteenth of December, due in seven days. Now this was an example. This is how I deal with this, and uh, later on. It will come up here as a reminder like this one. Day before we'll see an orange notification bubble and on that day that is due that bubble will become red. So I know that I need to pay that bill. For now I'll just delete it. So here's how I would remove it. I'll just click there. It says please confirm and it's confirmed. Alright, so that was how Binder helps with bills. Binder is also where all of these images are stored, organized in categories. Easier will be to say there's images in my collection, there's photos from my phone or my son's phone. Um, and so let's go into my images and have a quick look 
what I've got. I've got various landscapes and uh, things that I find wondrous and fantastic. Uh, world cities. Um, mostly these pixels they come from Facebook as I uh, go through my Facebook stream. If I find an interesting picture I just save it to my phone and then upload it into my dwell which is actually quite easy to do. I'll just show you here. Uh, let's for sake of an example save a clip. Let's say this very screen here. I'll do a print screen and I'll edit as a screenshot of my dwell homepage. Okay, I'll be Alec or L and I can just add that in. What will happen is this screenshot will now go into the inbox. It will be sitting here in the inbox tab waiting for me to attend to it in, uh, whenever I have time to see what it is and where it belongs. So I will look at it I'll say okay this is um, something to do with memories so let's have a look where we can save it. We can save it in images, uh, Alex collection or we'll just save it in the unstapled just a random image collection and save it and now it's gone from the inbox and you can see it here unstapled now if I don't need it I'll delete it and we're done